All right, we're gonna do a quick tip today on finding the arc radius of something when you only have part of the arc to deal with. So in this case, I need to make a ball mount uh, that fits this little divot here. This is magnetic, it's on a little action camera. But I need to find, um, or I need to make rather, a little metal dish that fits this divot exactly, or as close to exactly as possible, so it gets as much surface contact as possible. And to do that, there's kind of a cool trick. And as usual, when I do these sort of uh, math uh, tricks, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'll show you why it works after the fact. So to start with, we're gonna need a couple of pieces of information. Uh, we're gonna need to know the width of our arc, which appears to be, looks like right around 12 millimeter, or close enough to 12 millimeter. That, that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna need to know the depth of our arc, which appears to be eh, basically 1.5. So we're going to use 1.5 and 12 millimeter uh, for our two measurements. I'm assuming this is done in millimeter. We'll find out. Um, so really what we need to do here is using the length. So say we have the, you know, say this is our arc. And here we have our length. And here we have our height. Now if we treat this length as two segments, a part A and a part B, we call the height here C, and we're trying to solve for what we'll call D, then all you really need to know is that A times B divided by C will equal D. Okay, so in this case, we have a total length of 12 millimeter, which makes this six, and this six, so six squared, we're gonna end up with 36. We know that this is going to be 36. 36 divided by our 1.5, uh, which was our height, uh, is going to be 24, which means this is going to be 24. And then, since this is 1.5, so we know that the diameter of our circle that was used to make that arc is going to be 24 plus 1.5, or 25.5. Now, uh, I did this in millimeter. 25.4 is one inch in, you know, d directly. So I'm going to assume this is probably actually uh, one inch or the metric equivalent of one inch. Uh, and that's what I'll use on my dapping block to make a little ball head. Now, if you wanted to know the actual radius, it would be 24 plus 1.5 divided by 2, and that would give us our actual arc. So just to kind of recap, if you have an arc, any arc, any, you know, it doesn't matter how big, um, if you need to know what size circle was used to make that arc, you're going to need to know the length divided by 2 squared, so in this case 12 divided by 2, which is 6, or you can just take A and B, it's the same thing, you know, 6 times 6 is 36, divided by our height, which is C, uh, in this case of 1.5, gives us 24, 24 plus 1.5, that's our diameter, 24 plus 1.5 divided by 2 will be our radius. It's really that easy. Now if you want to know why this works, uh, stick around and I will explain it briefly. Now the reason this works is because of what's called the intersecting chords theorem, which basically states that if you have a circle and you have a, uh, any two chords, so a chord being a straight line that connects two points of a circle, any two chords, it could be of any length. Now these are, obviously this isn't a very clean circle, but these two uh, you know, chords here, if they intersect, the theorem states that the part A and the part B, the product of those, so if you multiply A times B, will always be equal to C times D. And so in this case, like say A and B equal 36, then C times D would be equal to 36 too. We know that, you know, that that's just, we can just take that as a given. So we use that to our advantage by basically pretending that we have a chord and part of a chord, okay? And we're trying to solve for the other end. So in this case, we ended up with six and six. Six times six equals 36, and this was 1.5. And we're trying to solve this piece, which we now already know is 24. So if you wanted to figure this out algebraically, all you really need to know here is that 1.5 x equals 36. Or if you remember your first day of algebra, then x equals 36 over 1.5. So 36 divided by 1.5 will give us our x. In this case, that's our 24. 1.5 plus 24, that's our diameter. Divide that by 2 for your radius. And that's it. So Hopefully you find this useful. It's one of those things that doesn't come in handy all the time. There are a lot of great methods for finding the center of a circle and, and whatnot, but for like a case like this, um, you really can't use any of those methods. You kind of just have to do the math. So hopefully you find that useful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, talk to you later, YouTube.